Please join me now in welcoming our student speaker for today, Tina May. Hello. First, um, I must say I have several pals out here, the best place on how long before I start crying. So I think if I don't cry, that I should get all the money that they wagered. Mexican first, meal. First, I'd like to say how honored I am to be speaking here. And more importantly, congratulations to all of you dressed like me today in our fashionable gowns and lovely hats. These hats symbolize achievement and celebration. These hats signify to everyone else seated here today that we have accomplished great things. We all had a goal and we have all met it. You should all be very proud of what you've done. So now what? Where do you go from here? What do you do once you exit the forum? The possibilities are endless, no matter your age. I would never have dreamed that I would return to college at four years old and complete a, what I started 25 years ago. My first college stint, while fun, was a complete flop. By the time I left, I was on academic probation. I even remember using my stealth teenage maneuvers to intercept the mail so my mom wouldn't see the letter notifying her of my failing grades. I don't think she ever found out. So I stand here today as proof that you should never give up on your dreams. The final result is quite different than I envisioned it 25 years ago, but I must say it's much better. You see, I'm not only here today as a graduate, I'm here today as the mom of two graduating sons. Tyler and Corey, your father and I are very proud of you. And to Isaac, although bureaucracy keeps you from walking the stage today, your father and I are just as proud of you. Do any of you remember your first assignment here at HCTC? I remember mine. It was public speaking with Madeline Flannery. By the way, that was a very practical class. It's coming in handy today. Thanks, Madeline. <laughs> the assignment was a sort of show and tell. Bring in an object that represents something about you. I thought long and hard about what to bring in, and I finally decided on the poem, The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. I quoted just one line. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Whichever road you choose, Know that there will be detours and curves and hills and perhaps a few traffic jams. I can say that from personal experience. Though not always easy, the road less traveled has been so full of blessings and surprises. I was lit enjoying a life in Mount Eden with my husband and sons. And then Tyler saw an ad in Bluegrass Unlimited magazine for the Kentucky School of Bluegrass and Traditional Music. So that was uh, just less than a month before the fall semester was to begin. We called Dino and he suggested we come and check out the school. That was one week before classes were to begin. By the time we left that meeting, my two sons were full-time students and we had one week to pack up and return to Hyden. Talk about a detour. I think my Tom Tom would say that rerouting plan. Um, so the initial plan was for Tyler and Corey to attend classes full time and I was going to take the music theory class with the awesome Curtis Birch. That was before Dino stepped in. On the first day of classes, there he was, standing in the hallway with that look in his eye. A look I have learned to run from. <laughs> Miss Tina, you should, you should come to my history class. I think you'd really enjoy it. By the end of the first week of classes, I was a full time student. Once again, Dino had worked his magic. Thanks, Dino, for the painting lessons. Although not planned, it has been a wonderful detour. Who knows where the road leads from here, but wherever it leads, I'm sure it will continue to be a grand adventure. When you walk out these doors, I pray that your road will lead you on a grand adventure. And wherever your road it leads you, whatever you do, don't rush through it. Take time to enjoy the ride. And whenever you get the chance to make a positive difference in the world, make it. Even if it's not what the rules say. It doesn't matter if it doesn't change the earth's rotation. I will end today by quoting the great doctor. Dr. Seuss, that is. Congratulations. Today is your day. 
You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your way, and you know what to do. And you are the guy who will decide where you go. Thank you.